Now what we want to do when we paint, and I'm going to, I'm going to try and do this one-handed. I do everything like I was taught in auto body. We need three good coats. We put them on 15 minutes apart. We do a tack coat, a middle coat, and a finish coat. Now a tack coat is not a full coat. I would say it's more than a half coat, but not a full coat. What a tack coat does is it, remember the paint is heavy and the more you put on the more it can sag. So if you put on a tack coat, here I'll just show you how to do it. If I can, if I can do this, I'm going to have to aim at the, let me shake this up a little bit. I'm going to have to aim at the project and also keep an eye on the uh, spray can where I'm going to aim at. What the tack coat does is it sets up for the next two coats but we have to remember that you need about three millimeters of paint on the whole deal you can't go too light you don't want to go too heavy either but with um, enamel in the shops remember it's already got that uh, chemical hardener in it that gives you six hours of pot life and that's considered a pot um, so have an idea of how you, of how you want to paint how are you going to attack this thing are you going to, uh, what, no, what I'm going to do is go around each side as far as this goes. And I'm just going to go from side to side and not stop anywhere in the middle. Now, I'm not worried about this. This is only there so that uh, the top part does not hit on the, um, doesn't scratch itself on this bucket. And I'm not going to give the back of it three tack coats. I'm just going to get enough, go from one side to side. I'm just going to give it enough to where it's covered. Now, you do not want to tip your can like this. One thing, you can get um, drops of paint in there, and if you tip it like this and you drop a drop of paint on your deal, well, you're screwed because you can't get that out, you can't wipe it out, and it's got to be sanded out. That's why I like to always keep this at an angle. Okay? Okay, now that's one side right there. Now I'll go on the other side, and I'll do it again on this side. And on the back, on the underneath, I'm only going to give it one good coat. I may give it two, a tack coat. And what you want to do... is, remember to get inside here. See how the edge is not done? And you want to get up here and you want to get on the front here. See how the front's not done? Right there. But you don't want to put a whole bunch on. Okay, because we can come back and we can put more on, especially if it's if it's uh, wet out. Or if it's see it's well it's winter here so and it's raining a little bit so there's moisture in the air. But I'm not real worried about that. So I go, I go and I look at it. And I say, okay, that's good enough for now. As you can see. I might go, well, let me get these little edges here. And we'll get the front edges and the back edge right there. And a little bit there. And there, okay. In this, it's kind of hard to do this with um, a camera. I have to, I have to aim, keep one eye on the camera and one eye on the other. Now I'm going to flip this over and see if I can flip it over without wrecking everything. Let's see if I can do it like this. Like that. That'll work. After I take that off. Now I look on the top and I take off this and that. Of course there's a truck over here which has got to be making a bunch of noise and ruining my soundtrack. And I'll shake this up some more. we will start at the bottom again. We'll do the same thing. We'll just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like that. And we start over here. 
here. We don't start right there. We start here and we end here. We don't end right there with a big puddle. So, like that, and then like that. Okay, now we go to the other side. Remember, you, we're, we're doing a tack coat. It doesn't have to cover everything. Okay? Let's see. Well, looks like I've got some fish eyes right there. Hmm. Well, I'll have to let that dry and fix that then. I don't know how I got those. Those are fish eyes right there. That's where the paint um, uh, has hit some silicone in there and it won't stick. So I'm going to have to sand that down a little bit and put on another coat. That's just one of the problems you run along. And if you do happen to do see fish eyes like that, what happens is I, uh, you'll put armor all and everything on this plastic. You'll put armor all on the plastic. Let's see, I'm going to go right over there, right here. And the armor all sinks into that corrugated plastic stuff. And it's a, uh, it's got uh, silicone in it. And those are fish eyes. Now, if I couldn't get that out any other way, these little tiny things, every one of those little dots is a piece of silicone or a silicone additive. And what happens is the paint hits it and it just, it just breaks away from it. It just, and those are little fish eyes. Now, if I, if I had, had a real problem where I couldn't fix that, I would uh, add um, fish eye remover to the paint, which I can't do on this on a can, but I would do that, and it would, it would uh, add silicone to the paint and ma basically make all the paint uh, silicone-based, and it gets rid of the fish eyes, but I don't like doing that. Anyway, I think it's going to look pretty good after I get that part done. I mean all the dents and everything are taken out. Everything looks good but see these are some of the problems that you can run along. Okay? And as a beginning painter you gotta know how to fix them. To me it's nothing. This is a walk in the park another day. It's nothing. Okay, I'll post this and show you some of the problems. It's gonna look good, I know it. Just a small setback. 